happy Vlogmas Day 21. We're almost done. I've posted almost nothing. That's really all I got to say. I have one more day of work left before it is holiday, winter break, whatever it's called. I don't know. I'm running out of energy. I'm running out of patience. I want to go to bed. I want to stay in bed. Yeah. I gotta go to work. Good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 22. It's the last day before winter break. I can never be so relieved. Y'all, it's not even funny how exhausted I've been. I've been so, just so drained. I cannot wait to come home and sleep. I'm gonna love it. Also, this is so random, but yesterday when I was coming home, obviously, I don't look my age. And the hairstyles I choose don't help that. Like, I got two little buttons and these strands. I don't look like I'm 25. I was leaving work. Mind you, I'm a teacher, so I obviously work at a school. Last well, somebody looked at me like, school just let out? You just got out of the school? I said yes. Not realizing, she probably thought I was a student. Book bag, buns, my book bag. I can't show. My book bag got little stuffed animals on it. Nobody in their right mind, unless you know me or hear me say it, would think I'm 25. I Like, let's be real here. Also, yesterday, my little strands were blowing up. I had alfalfa patches. So I put these little two clips on it to keep them down from the wind. Okay, I'll see y'all later. And just like that, that is a wrap on a 2023 portion of the 2023-2024 school year. And I did the last week by myself. At least 17 people told me that they were proud of me and I'm very, feeling really awkward about that. But that's a conversation for later. First things first, if you say something about my hair, something bad about my hair, you're anti-black. Second thing, second, I'm on the floor. I am so tired. I don't understand. Y'all don't. But I'm on the floor because I'm tired and I didn't take a shower yet, so I can't be on my bed. No outside clothes in our bed. Third, we gotta open some presents for my kids. Uh, we're not gonna open the friends first. You're gonna look. I'm gonna show this one. I gave my students a, a, a packet to do today because they were listening to me all week and they thought they were gonna have fun on last day of break. No. Anyway. Now I gotta cover the name. I gotta sneeze. I saw this thing on TikTok somewhere. And I was like, I'll, I think my teacher wants blank, blank, blank for Christmas because. And this one literally says, I think my teacher wants cookies for Christmas because I gave three boxes of cookies to my teachers and they were happy. And he did give us cookies. He was right. But I was just more happy that I got a present from a kid from, than the fact that they were cookies. I just feel appreciated. I'd always, I'd be tired with these kids. His, this one a real kicker. She said, I think my teacher wants pizza and quiet for Christmas because the class talks too much and do not know how to stop. She ain't wrong. She ain't wrong. So shout out to you, Miss Girl, cause you know, you know. Now let's get into what I got. This from the kid who said i think my teacher my cookies for christmas but i got cookies i be seeing this bakery or anytime i see this bakery there's always a line out the door so shout out to him and his mom thank you i think there's like i think there's like three things of cookies in there i don't know i didn't open it i'm a little scared i'm not scared i'm just i don't know scared was easy to say oh they had this on it it's also cute <coughs> i think i made a sick these kids are nasty. You don't know how to cover their mouth. Um, I did get this from another student. I mean, just make sure the name is covered. Okay. I got this from another student. I just want to say, I never expect anything from my students. But when I do get stuff, I get so happy. I'm like, oh, you thought about me? Thanks. Oh, bendito. You know? 
The stuff I'm taking out now is stuff I got from work. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Okay. Tissue okay. paper. is the second best Christmas present I ever got and it's real cheesy too my first year teaching one of my favorite students got me him and his mom got me a tumbler that was like some it was something if I I'm gonna insert the picture like right here because it was so cute and I was like Miss J 2021 2022 and I absolutely love it I got a best teacher <laughs> oh there's something in here it's a bath bomb Ooh, that's not cute and it's crazy because I was literally just thinking to myself how come no one ever got me like family or friends ever got me like a corny best teacher thing I'm so happy with it Okay, okay. It came with a candle, peach bellini. Ooh, ooh. I kind of want to ask my co teacher which one she got because I'm nosy. And this was in it. And because I've nailed, I'm going to struggle to open it. I don't want to rip the box. I hate doing stuff like that. Girl said, girl says, girl scout say, use your resources wisely. I use my resource wisely. A gift card. Ooh. Coffee gift card. <laughs> I would say I'm not going to use it because I don't support people who support genocide. But she literally already paid for it, so regardless i'm still grateful because obviously my students don't have to give me anything so i love it it's gonna take me a while to use this because i don't get starbucks on my way to work <laughs> or i never got starbucks on my way to work it was always duncan my job also did this little thing called a warm wall a warm and fuzzy wall something along those lines and I, the same class i gave the um what is this thing called this packet too i made them write some warm and fuzzies to the teachers i didn't i didn't tell them what teachers to do i said it could be any teacher it could be me it could be this one this one this one this one this one anybody who's taught you throughout the years doesn't matter but i got one that actually almost made me cry and i just want to share it with you guys and if i i made them write a whole bunch this one also almost made me cry it said happy holidays miss j thank you for everything love you well i love you and this one y'all my heart she said you're so funny thank you for helping me grow love you miss j I, y'all, it's the little things like that that make it so worthwhile being a teacher, knowing that you can impact a student in the littlest way, and you wouldn't even know it. It's, <sighs> I also got another one that said, Dear Miss J, you have been teaching me for, from summer school and kindergarten and in third grade, so I wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> But yeah I just oh, it was so cute to see this and it just really made all the stress I don't want to say worth it but to know that it actually I'm doing something well anyway I'm gonna be stop stop being sappy I'm gonna take a shower drink some tea and go to bed okay okay see y'all later hello good afternoon 
happy vlogmas day 23 um i'm not gonna lie i had no intention of going out today but i fully forgot i booked a pilates class so i'm on my way there <clears throat> i feel like poop i ain't eat nothing i'm tired because i didn't get to sleep in like i want to but I think after I tried Pilates, I'm, oh, they removed it. Wow, it's giving, I'm in my, I'm at Cache House. Anyway, um, after Pilates, I'm hopefully gonna meet up with my friend Nia, and then we're gonna get ramen and go to Trader Joe's, and then I'm going back home. I'm not gonna fuck out. So I'll see y'all soon. Wish me luck with Pilates, cause I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared. Everybody be talking about how hard it is, so. Wish me luck. I'm home from Pilates. I don't think that Pilates is for me. I think I do it like once a month because it gives me gym vibes. So it's not for me. And it wasn't even a full class. It was like 20, 30 minutes. Like a free intro class. But it's not for me. And I don't know if it's because of the weather or because I'm like, I'm stuffy. I mean, but I don't feel, I felt weird afterwards. Like, it's the way I felt after I had my first driving lesson. Like, my head was hurting. Everything was like, whoa. Like, in slow motion and dizzy. So, I'm going to take a nap before I go see Nia. Because, girl, I need a nap. All right, I'll see y'all later friends that I can vlog with and I just know I can. Ooh, I love a good cranberry juice. Ooh. It's a grip.